I think the biggest mistake is just a lack of communication. And you hear this from a lot of people who are dating or about to get married. They don't know the basics. They don't know how much, believe it or not, their partner makes. It's not maybe first date material, but certainly as your life together gets more serious and you're moving in together and you're getting married, there are some things that you need to know. And studies show that couples are not talking about these basic things like salary, debt, savings, credit, also goals, you know, just step, take a step away from the, the numbers for a second and have you talked about, well, where do we wanna to be together as a couple in the next year, five years, do we wanna buy a home, do we wanna have children? Do we, and when we do have children, do we want them to go to public school or private school? I mean, all of these goals carry price tags and it's important for couples to at least get on the same page ahead of time. If you do have common ground, it can, almost be a great way for each person, despite their differences in how they manage money, to find a way to work together. And now you have these goals that you both are invested in and want to achieve and will hopefully allow you to, you know, encourage you to make the better decisions and the healthier decisions with your money and to be less um, maybe selfish with how you spend. I think, you know, couples are getting married later in life. We're used to managing our money in our own ways and being very independent. So when we get in a relationship, it's, it's a, an adjustment. You know, I have to now consider this other person and our goals and manage my money in with that consciousness. So I think the biggest mistake is just not having that consciousness, not being communicative. It can be scary to talk about these things, but ultimately it will help you get down a path towards success together. I think if you can just get over that emotional barrier.